Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Icarus. And this is uh, going to be a short guide for the Dry Run Expedition mission. Um, which basically you run, you collect uh, a mining drill, and then you go to another place and you collect uh, solar panels and some wire. And then you journey to this little valley that has a lake and a couple caves that merge into a cave that leads to the desert. And you have to set up the drill and power it with solar panels. So uh, let's jump in. Between satellites falling out of the sky, exotics screwing with imaging, and their last exploration team just not coming back, the desert's a blank on the map. It's time to change all that. But first, you gotta find a way in. Exploration teams reported a cave system. Could be a path down there. But that was the last anyone heard from. Legos has dropped components for a heavy drilling rig. Could be useful underground, but you'll need to collect them before you head down. Drop zones in the cave area are marked on your map. It ain't your first rodeo. But this is Icarus, so don't let your guard down. So I'll be cutting out uh, a lot of the running from place to place here, but I'll show some of the early stuff. Now I thought this mission would be similar to the beta mission, where you drill through the, the cave system, which had a lot more, it was much more involved. You had to make a, uh, a fuel can, so you had to do all the iron stuff leading up to the iron. A fuel can, you had to use some bio biofuel composter to make fuel and that powered the drill but in this one it's much easier they give you a solar panel they give you basically infinite wire with a wiring tool and you don't have to go do anything with iron now i ended up doing some stuff with iron on the mission because um i thought i would need it but you don't you don't actually need it the reason i made this video is that uh i've been seeing in the forums some people getting confused about how this quest works uh, troubles, troubles with the wiring, um, but it's pretty straightforward, and we'll get to that near the near the middle to the end of the video. Early stuff's pretty straightforward, though. Uh, you just make your basic tools. I play solo, so um, put all my talents into solo type things. So here we are at the first box. This is wh where the drill is. Now, if you're used to making a backpack to get extra storage and weight. Uh, it goes in the G slot, I think, and this uh, this drill also goes in the G slot. So I found you can't use a backpack at the same time, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, just uh, maybe I'll save you some time from making a backpack. Lagos unit figures the cave system's the key to getting through to the desert. But tidal forces from Minos mean subterranean networks are anything but stable. They figured you'll need drilling equipment. So skipping ahead here, um, the other thing you want to note is that the solar panel weighs quite a bit. I think it's either 5 or 10 kilograms, so you might have to uh, trim down your inventory a little bit. Here we are at the second box. So I had to, I had to drop some stuff. I usually carry a, a small wooden uh, shed around with me in case uh, the weather gets bad or I want to sleep at night and there's no caves around. So I ended up checking my, chucking my fireplace because I don't, didn't really need it at the moment. So now we're going kind of west and then north to a valley that, if you've played the beta, you're really familiar with. I, I've settled there a few times. It's a nice little spot. It does have a bear spawn in the valley, but you can pretty easily avoid the bear. Here's what it looks like from the ridge. I can jump in there. <laughs> there we go. And there's a lake down there. It's a nice little cozy area. One downside of it is it doesn't get a lot of sunlight. There's only a few hours during the day. Uh, that actually, where the sun is shining where you need it. So I'll show you a pretty good spot to put the solar panel down.
So I ended up setting up some workbenches and stuff in the cave. Uh, you might want to put down a bedroll and a campfire and save a spawn point here, just in case you die. And you can drop torches, which is pretty handy if you want to light up the cave to get from the kind of the entrance. There's two entrances that merge and then and then they lead to this part here. Now as you cross zone boundaries, you might get this like there's a storm in the desert biome right now, which we're not actually going into yet, which I just got the warning for. But you can ignore that because we're actually still in the forest. Or we will be in the forest when we go back. So first thing you're gonna do here is Hit G and place the drill. It's against the wall at the end of the cavern. And now it says it has no power. So next step is to head outside of the cave and set up a solar panel. Here I am at the kind of the right side uh, cave entrance. I ended up putting it on this rock here which is getting sun at this moment. Now you'll know it's working if it turns green. There's a little green indicator, there we go. We know it's working, it's getting power. Now you wanna take out your wire tool, click kind of the bottom of the solar panel, it'll light up green. So it's attached. And then this, you can only lay out like a few feet of cord at once, power cord. It might be about five feet, I guess, in terms of the game, six feet, something like that. So you just click once, left click once, and it'll automatically get ready to lay the next piece so you don't have to like click off or anything. If you want to stop, you can right click and then you can always go back to the last segment that you put in. I didn't end up removing any wire, I didn't need to, I'm not sure if there's a way, way to do it or not. But And you may want to drop some torches so you can see what you're doing along the way because it is pretty dark from between the solar panel and the uh, the drill, it's pretty dark. So here we go, I just sped up this up so you guys could uh, not wait through it because it takes a few minutes to work your way down through the cavern. Now, unluckily, uh, once I had hooked it up, the sun had moved off the solar panel by the time I was finished, so I actually had to wait till the next day. And you'll notice uh, those uh, cave worms spawn. Once the drill fires up, I think they spawn. So you'll probably want to run out. Of, if, if you're there when the drill turns on, you probably want to run out of the cave. Because the first time I did it, there was uh, like three or four worms. And some are behind you and some are in front of you, depending on where you are. So you might want to run out and then slowly come back and kill them. Two bow shots uh, while, while crouching. To the head will kill them really fast. So here's what it looks like after the drill is done. I didn't manage to record the actual drill finishing. And then I've got some wire hanging in the air there. That's what you're going to connect to later on. But if you advance through the cave a little bit, there's going to be another rock wall that'll have kind of like a ghost, um, a ghosted blueprint for the drill. That's That's how you know where to put it. So here we are at the second wall. So just place the drill. And go back to where the, where the power cord ended off last time. Get out your power tool, click on it, and then just put out various segments of uh, power tool. Back to the second drill. Torches are really cheap, so I do recommend like dropping a few if you want to be able to see around easily. There's also floor torches that you can drop or put down that give off more light. But here we go. Okay. Looks like that but the minute I turn on the drill, uh, we got three or four, three, three, three uh, cave worms. But like I said, two, two headshots, uh, and they're pretty much dead. Definitely recommended to bring some some meat so you can heal up if you do get hit. Now 
The first, like I said, the first uh, drill wall that I went through, I think more worms spawned. And it's somewhere behind me, so... The poison is actually not too bad, but if it stacks up quite a bit, it can be pretty lethal. Another one bites the dust. Let's get out of here. For real this time. So to finish the quest, you actually have to go into the actual desert zone. You don't have to stay there, but... It's actually a really good place to level. When I finally got through the desert area here, there was so many animals right at the entrance. I just, uh, I just stayed there for a while to uh, level up. There's ele elephants, there's hyenas, there's all sorts of animals. You're opening up Icarus for them. And everyone else. Yeah, the future's coming. Where it's all going, who can say? I guess that's up to you. Now there is a rock you can stand on if you want to take on the elephant. Or you can use the trick where you run towards uh, the animal and then slightly veer off and it has to turn around and come back. But there was a rock here. Uh, the, the elephant did get stuck though. I think it either got stuck on some kind of invisible boundary or it got stuck on top of the hyena this time. I don't really know what happened, but... Generally standing on a tall rock like this is a good way to take out the elephants. And they give really good experience. 30, 100. So that's pretty good. So like I said, tons and tons of animals. I, I spent about, I don't know, 5 or 10 minutes here. Got lots of experience. And then to finish off completely, you have to run all the way back to the uh, drop pod, which is kind of a bummer. That's one thing I don't like about these final, the ends of each mission, you have to run all the way back. And I was unlucky enough to have more of these things spawn. Now I'm not sure if this was like, um, just random back bad luck. Or whether it's programmed to spawn more worms when you go back. I think there was just the one though. So then we run back. Uh, sped this up for you guys. You have to watch all. But it's a pretty straightforward quest. You don't need to do anything with the iron bars and stuff. Even though I did. And hopefully this helps you guys get through it really quick. And it opens up a whole another series of missions once you finish this quest. So it's a really important one to do. So hope you guys enjoyed that. If you liked it, hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you want to see videos like this in the future. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.